In Singapore, heart-related diseases and stroke accounted for almost one-third of all deaths in 2021. But is stress a factor that can increase the risk of getting a heart disease? Today, we have Dr. Saurabh Rastogi and Dr. Tseng Min with us to share more about the correlation between the heart and the mind. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Saurabh Rastogi. I'm a consultant interventional cardiologist currently practicing at Noble Heart Centre located at Glen Eagles Hospital. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Zheng Jimin. I'm a consultant psychiatrist currently practicing at Noble Psychological Wellness Centre. Hi Dr. Sarab. So one of the common questions that people ask these days are what are the possible risk factors of heart disease and the most common one that you've seen recently? Well, to just break it down, maybe I can tell you the non-modifiable one of course is age, like we, which we cannot change, but the ones which are modifiable and we can work on includes like diabetes, blood pressure, high cholesterol, overweight, lack of physical activity, smoking, you know, healthy diet and above all, stress. Dr. Tseng, maybe you can share with us some of the different types of stress and the general common triggers of stress in today's time? So stress comes in different forms and largely categorised in physical, psychological and social stress. So physical stress refers to physical illnesses, physical trauma such as injury. Psychological stress refers to difficult emotional states such as anxiety, fear, anger, sadness. And social stress refers to problems in your everyday life such as interpersonal relationship difficulties, financial woes um, and maybe problems at work or at home. And how does stress actually increase the risk of getting a heart disease? Well, there are many ways stress can increase heart disease, but just imagine yourself as the person who's stressed out and what you land up doing when you're you know, severely stressed. I think apart from that, stress actually triggers parts of your brain to increase sympathetic drive, which increases heart rate, blood pressure. So I completely agree, Sarah. So there is um, a clear body and mind link. And especially in um, psychiatry, we often see patients come in with anxiety, um, low mood, and sometimes this happens even after they get their diagnosis of having a heart condition. And because being diagnosed with a condition causes stress, such as fear of disability, sometimes even death, as well as financial stress as well. So it's pretty much a chicken or egg situation whereby stress can lead to heart conditions and heart conditions can then lead to more stress. So essentially it's important to manage stress overall. So are there ways that people can adopt to help manage their stress? First of all, um, introduce changes to your lifestyle but these changes um, have to be small and incremental so that it's easy to uh, employ in your daily life. So such changes could be many, uh, being more self-aware of your emotional health as well as your physical health. So when you're more self-aware, when you know your own limits and boundaries, then it's easier to do what is required to take care of yourself better. Yeah, I think through COVID, another big factor that's come up is the importance of being social beings. The social isolation has taken a big trigger on stress and so I think they're just very small but very have profound effect on you know coping with stress so yes. Yeah everything in moderation yes. so anything too excessive is usually not good for you and would cause stress to you emotionally and physically. First step is to acknowledge stress if you're having stress do not ignore it discuss it break it down and find ways of how you can deal with it because if you can't, you'll definitely do many more medical problems. Yeah, so stress is important. It helps us to grow and help us to be productive. But when there is too much stress, then that, it can, that can become a problem for your health. So it's important to be mindful, self-aware, take care of yourself on a daily basis, and that would help you in a long way.